folks, welcome back to Good Enough Customs. So uh, last week we tackled the uh, drive shaft tunnel. Um, you know, I got her, uh, got her in there, got it tacked in. I still haven't gone back and finished welding on that guy. I'm just gonna save a bunch of finished welding for the end. Um, once I get a few other things done, then I'll come back and actually finish this up, and then just spend a day. And then just spend the day with the welder going around and you know zipping stuff up and calling it good so today today i'm going to focus on this guy uh i'm gonna try to do this side and that side i don't know if i want to get to that side over there but uh today is definitely going to focus on this guy and another one thing i got to do there is i need to get the uh the captured nut i guess you would call it uh it's not really a captured nut but it's uh i don't know you'll see <laughs> so uh it literally rotted off of the other piece that was in there so it's it's still attached to the seat belt and uh, i've got that drug out i grabbed that up off the shelf and just set her right down here in the floor just set it right here down in the floor so you can see you know there's a little bit of there's a little bit of rust in there where that thing was, uh, you know, just rotted out. So this piece, hang on, I'm going to walk us to the, to the workbench so I don't have to hold two things and try to point and talk and all that at one time. So this piece actually uh, gets welded to that piece of metal. So this is the back side of it. The front side is actually tacked in, spot welded. To the uh to the metal that goes you know over there where i'm doing the thing you know what i mean so uh uh so this guy's got to get broke loose but as you can tell that bolt is uh bolt's a little rusty plus you know everything else just kind of lets you know that this is going to be a problem so i'm going to do the smart thing i'm going to let this guy just sit and soak for a little bit uh i'm going to hit it with some uh i don't even know what that stuff's called all i know is it smells a lot a lot better than the pb blaster uh for y'all um so i'm gonna give this stuff a shot and just let it sit let it sit and cook in so to speak and uh while it's doing that i figure i can go ahead i've got my template already made up um made that up a couple weeks ago i think so made that up a couple weeks ago of course i screwed up whenever i was cutting it out and and it's got a little dip right here in the middle so i may end up having to just you know trace this up and it this isn't off by much it only hangs by just a little bit under under the lip so i'll pretty much just make this a nice straight line and then just trim it as i need to to get it in the to get it into the spot so so you can kind of see you know here's our big old hole and then here's how it's going to fit in So yeah, you can see there's just a little bit of a gap here. So I'm just going to basically run this line, you know, straight across. And like I said, just trim it to fit. I've still got a little bit of trimming to do here on this front edge because uh, it's hitting down where this goes down in this little valley. Um, and then this guy will have to get buzzed down a little bit too. But that's all stuff that can be done, you know, once I get the, the rough cut of the piece, you know, ready to go. So, uh, so there's my template. And uh, I guess I'm gonna go transfer that over to uh, transfer that over to some metal. So uh, yeah, we'll catch up here shortly. Went ahead and traced it out. The only part I didn't cut was this piece, or uh, trace was this piece, because as you can tell, when I cut this out, I, I, I kind of went nuts with it and totally messed that up. So I'm gonna use a straight edge and basically straight edge this back to there. All right, so one thing that has that you got to make note about on these you know especially this guy's getting a bunch of different 
you know, it's got a couple different contours to it. You know, it's got a little overlap area. So I went through and I marked where my bend point is. My bend point's gonna be right here and right here because this piece folds up and then this piece folds up. So I'm gonna make an additional line over on this. Maybe that's not gonna be straight enough or long enough. Um, there we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make an additional line across and this will kind of just tell me where I need to make, basically I'm gonna make a small relief cut and that little relief cut is going to allow this piece to bend a lot easier and less deforming. Now I'm not making this a solid line either. That way, whenever I go to cutting with the cutting wheel, I don't get all crazy and decide to uh, cut the wrong line. So here's our pattern, all ready to go. You can see, I can get that glare out of it. But you can see dotted line, that's, I'm just gonna basically score that with the uh, cutoff wheel and score that one. That way it'll just bend a little bit easier, a little nicer, a little cleaner. And uh, then I just wanna cut the rest of this stuff out. Over here, it'll probably be just kind of a rough cut and then I'll grind it down to make this nice little smooth, smooth uh, arc to it. And then just cut the rest of this stuff out. So I'm gonna get on that here in just a second. Got her cut out. Now uh, get these bends put in it. So I don't have a brake press, but uh, I do have a bench vise. <laughs> and we are only dealing with just some sheet metal. So one of the reasons why I did the uh, relief cut in it is because that's gonna basically say that's where it's gonna bend. So I'm gonna basically strap it in here, pull this side down a little bit and then slide it over, pull this side down a little bit and just try to work it back and forth. This doesn't have to be precise. Um, cause this is just going to be my tab that sits on the new floor pan. Um, I'm going to drill some holes in it and then just plug weld it down. Same thing goes for this backside over here. This goes up against that back wall. Um, so that just bends in. So yeah, we're, you know, this little flap right here, I don't know which side I'm going to bend it with. That's why it's got two relief cuts in it. Um, but we'll figure it out. So pretty much go easy. <laughs> so. So here we go. We're going to take and bend right here. So you can see it's following that, that relief cut pretty well. I'm going to run out of room.
like I said, it ain't got to be perfect. This is just going to be a flange to weld with. So, you know, it got a pretty decent bend to it. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and just cut here and then fold this side in. So I'll straighten that piece out real quick. And there we go. We got us our bottom flange ready to go. And I'm going to hit this little spot with the cutter, with the uh, ground, uh, cutoff wheel. I'll just hit that little spot. That way this piece will fold right in. Now this piece, I could probably bend it all in one go. The big key is you don't want to set, you don't want to set the edge of your vise directly on that line because you got to have a little room for everything to, to fold in. It's going to bend on that line. Um, that's why that relief cut was made. So you just set it just a smidge under where you made that relief cut and uh, then, you know, give her a good bend. This top edge, this little piece right here did not want to follow the bend. It was trying to curve, give me a big curve in it. So a couple taps with the body hammer, straighten it right out. And there you go. Now I'll take this little piece right here and bend it up and uh, We'll be in good shape. And see that guy just folds right up where he's supposed to. And so we'll take and we'll, uh, I'll get that just welded up. So we ain't got to worry about it. And uh, yeah, makes us a nice little, uh, little setup. Either that or I actually just probably just cut this off. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just cut this off. That way I don't have an extra layer back here for water and rust to to jump in and start doing its number. So I'll just cut it down here at this edge and then just weld that little corner up. So, but there it goes. And let's see how she fits. That's not good. <laughs> All right, well, the good news is, is my back end is a little long, so I'll have to do something back here to get that corrected. Um, yep, yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, up front and up top, it's pretty doggone close. A little grinding on that, and that'll, that'll set right in where it's supposed to. I don't know what I did back there. I don't know why that's so far off. I don't know, we'll have to figure this out. While I'm thinking on that, trying to figure out how to, uh, how to make that work a little bit better over there. I mean, obviously something wasn't measured correctly over there. Um, I guess I'll come over here and monkey with this guy. See if we can't get this uh, really, really rusty bolt out of this really really rusty nut thing so um if you've never messed with these guys you know they don't they don't come out like you would think you, you would think you just pull this bottom edge up and expose the bolt nope you have to push the seat belt in as you lift on the plastic to get you some room so that allows you to get some room to get in there. Kind of a pain, but you know, whatever. Let's get all that up here. 
So we're going to stick this bottom piece in the vise. Stretch that guy out just a little bit so I can get a little room. So we got our bolt, which is, you know, in that little captured nut. It's pretty doggone rusty in there. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more stuff on this top side. See if that drains down in there. That stuff actually chases the threads pretty good. So yeah, you can see she's, uh, she's a little crusty in there. So hopefully I can grind that down and get some good metal. <laughs> Wow, that really is bad. So we'll see if I can't get down to some good metal. If I can't get to some good metal, I'll just, I guess, make something. You know, find me a just a big old fender washer and uh, tack that in place instead of this guy. But uh, we'll try and reuse this guy since, you know, it's factory stuff. And GM, you know, engineers, I guess, know what they're doing when it comes to the safety standards of 1989. <laughs> so... Anyhow, I'm going to, uh, I guess, clean this guy up and see if we can't get down to some decent metal on it. I'm probably going to have to find another bolt, though. That one is, uh, that's questionable. She's pretty rotted down there in the center on that shank. So, I'll hunt down another bolt for that. But for the meantime, I'll still use this bolt just as my mock-up stuff. So we ain't got to worry about all that. She cleaned up okay. A couple little spots that just won't clean up. So uh, definitely be welding right in here because it just tacks up here, tacks down here. So I guess down here I'm gonna have to try and find a good spot to get some good metal. I don't know. I may just scrap this thing and do something else. But uh, to be continued on that guy. All right, now let's see. What are we gonna do about this guy? Because obviously I've got a gap back here and you know, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> so, uh, I do not know. I think, I think what I may end up doing, I think I may just cut this piece off. Just go ahead and cut this piece off and then make a filler piece to go here. Cause I really don't want to cut this entire piece out again um and it is just metal so you know you can take and weld to it and do whatever you need to so i think what i may end up doing here is just cutting this piece off and figuring you know making sure this thing fits go ahead and get this fitted in and then just making a little patch that goes back here um which really this shouldn't be too terribly bad because i can just take and make a uh, a little piece of you know angle just a nice little rectangle you know long strip of angle and overlap here overlap there and that'll cover that up just fine not looking for perfection you know so uh i think that may be the ticket a little bit of a gap right here it's all right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's see. From here, we've got to do plug welds down this little line right here.
I need to shave this little tip off right there. And then clean this edge up here. I'd say that's fitting pretty good. Got it going up there. I've got a few little dips in the floor here. Not a huge deal. I'll take and knock this down with the body hammer to make that match. Now I'll, I'll drill me some holes for some plugs. And uh, I got to do a couple plugs here to keep this butted up. And uh, you know, then of course I got to make this little piece that'll cover this little mistake up. <laughs> so I'll cut a piece out for that. And basically, it'll just like I said, it'll probably be an inch on each side and go right up in this corner. All right, so I'd say that fits in there all right. You know, pretty decent. It's, uh, you know, good enough for good enough for what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, I've got this gap I got to deal with on this end. Why not? I've always got a gap I have to deal with, apparently. Um, I got to fix my, you know, big screw up here. And uh, uh, then I'll take this bottom flange and I'll just hammer it down nice and flat with the uh, body hammer to get it, you know, to make the contour of the floor and uh, uh, that'll be good to go. So, but uh, yeah, she fits in there pretty good. Pretty doggone good. All right, well, I gotta get this metal cleaned up. It's pretty pitted in spots. It's pretty, uh, pretty crunchy in other spots. <clears throat> so I just gotta get it cleaned up, get some fresh metal up here. And uh, then I gotta prep the panel, get these edges ready. And that way I can go ahead and get everything started and get uh, tacked in and uh, ready to go. folks so uh just off camera just so i can kind of get it going fairly quick and you know it's not really all that interesting of a process drilled uh went in and drilled my holes got all my holes drilled for my spot welds also went ahead and drilled them on the bottom side then i went ahead i'm gonna flip it upside down so we can see went ahead and got uh i'm, I'm just using this bolt just basically for mock-up this thing's pretty chewy so i'm not going to worry about keeping it but I did go ahead and drill my holes for the uh, for this old captured nut thing. Um, and looking at it over on the passenger side, um, as a matter of fact, I'll flip you around. And you can see on the passenger side, you can see it dipping down right there. It's only held in by a spot weld here and a spot weld just above the, the bolt hole. Um, so, I guess that works. Plus, then you're going to have the uh, the bolt in there with the seat belt and everything helping pull it in. So, spot welds are really just there to keep it in place. Um, like I said, I guess GM knows what they're doing. <laughs> Their engineers are much smarter than I am. So, uh, um, <clears throat> I went through and cleaned. I went through and cleaned this up a little bit. Got a little bit further into the metal on that uh, that captured nut piece that oblong piece um got a little deeper into metal over there just so i could get some good clean stuff and i went ahead and did it up here on this other one too so i'll have a good bit of weld going down in here to build this up to fill these these little plugs in so you know i guess uh i guess i'm getting ready to get started welding on this guy the uh yeah i guess i'm gonna go ahead and just get this welded up and then we'll worry about making that little piece for the back corner where it's all 
where it's not quite right. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there between my, my piece of cardboard and piece of metal, but it seemed like it fit really nice with the cardboard. Maybe I should have waited to bend up the metal to, to you know, get it in there and test fit first, but whatever. We're going to fix it. You know, it's a floor, not that big a deal. Um, so yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll bend up a piece of metal, just stick back there in that corner, spot weld it in, and then just seam seal the hell out of it on the backside. So that way we don't have, you know, gaps for moisture to get in and, you know, do its wonderful job with the metal. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to get cracking on uh, welding this guy or attacking this guy in. So uh, we'll catch up uh, here in just a few. So, you know, it's a little ugly. I didn't have some areas super clean whenever I was going back to welding. This gap's a little bit much. I'm gonna have to come back and put something in there and seal that up. You know, hold, fill that, fill this little bit of gap in a little bit so I can start stacking some welds in. The, uh, it welded up pretty good all the way back to here. Back here, this is a little, it's a little crustier than I thought. So I'm probably going to have to cut this piece out and just replace this big whole chunk back here because this, I just keep blowing holes in it. Every time I go throw a weld down, boom, it's just busting, uh, just busting a hole right through it. So but I got my plugs in. I've got this guy in. Uh, I got plugs in down here on the floor. I got a couple plugs in right through here just to keep this guy. Um, and you can kind of see, I mean, she ain't giving that's got some good strength to it right there all right folks that's going to wrap it up for this week um you know we got that uh that one panel that i've been saying i'm gonna do for a very long time <laughs> finally got it done and i managed to screw it up a little bit <laughs> but uh but uh uh yeah that uh i don't know what happened there but you know i'll patch it it'll be fine it's just metal it's just the floor doesn't really matter um so anyways and also you know got that little bit of rust that i didn't see before and that stuff just will not take a weld uh, it's just blowing holes so i'm probably going to cut that piece out and patch there as well so it may end up being that i just cut one big piece off of uh that panel that i just put in there and make another patch panel to go in there i'll have to deal with that another day um you know so i'll monkey with that another day i've still got to do the passenger side um you know there's there's still quite a bit to do i mean the floors they're in there um mostly i just you know a little bit of buttoning up left to do some finishing welding i probably won't bore y'all guys with all that stuff i'll probably just do that one day and not even worry about it but um uh so you know the blazer is going to end up getting kind of pushed off to the side um since we're getting close to power tour uh and i'm planning on doing a long haul 
And I plan on driving Steve to do that. So I want to pull Steve in, get a little work done on Steve. And if you're not familiar with what Steve is, Steve is my little short bed. It's a 1980 C10 short bed. Um, and I got, you know, it's just a really kind of, a really cool story around that little truck. So, uh, uh, that's actually a little truck that kind of got, kind of got me started on doing, you know, the good enough customs type thing, because everything on that truck is just good enough. It looks great, but everything's just good enough. I'm going to end up going back and, you know, make it a little bit better. Um, but you know, it's just kind of stepping along with it. Nothing, nothing, you know, I'm not blowing a whole truck apart and doing a full resto on the truck. Um, just little bits here, little bits there, make it just a little bit gooder enough, <laughs> but making it, you know, good enough to get on down the road and have fun with it. Enjoy the truck. So, um, uh, so Steve's going to be coming in here for long and, uh, getting out all prepped up for power tour, uh, probably here in the next couple, three weeks, I'd say a couple weeks more than likely, uh, getting that one started to prep up for uh, power tour. And then, uh, after power tour is over, we'll probably get back on Jackson's blazer because, I'm supposed to have that ready for him in October. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to get here before you know it. But, uh, but anyway, so, you know, I do appreciate y'all guys watching. It means a lot. Um, if you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, that helps out a bunch. Um, I, you know, with that whole algorithm thing. Uh, if you, uh, if you like it and you like this type of content, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, I try to release a video every Monday, so uh, uh, so usually that's that's when they hit. But if you hit that subscribe button, that also helps the algorithm. Um, you know, if y'all guys see something that you know, got any questions or anything like that, drop a comment down below, and uh, you know, I, I respond to all the comments. Some of them I may miss at first, but I'll I'll eventually get you responded to. So, uh, anyways, uh, like I said, do appreciate y'all guys watching. It means a bunch, and uh, just remember. It ain't got to be perfect. Just good enough. We'll talk to y'all later.